how we doing everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. Concrete cowboy behind me. How we doing there, Fred? Uh. <laughs> oh man. Well that's the way to start off a video. So uh obviously you see we got some tents up right now. We have some camping equipment rounds. That's right. We are out here and, and some beers. Because in true hiker trash fashion, we have to have some beers. So we are actually up in the Adirondacks right now, the northern side of the Adirondacks, up near Hart Lake, I believe, uh, Lake Placid area, correct? Yep. Uh, so we are camping for two nights, three days. Uh, so we are out here to just enjoy ourselves a little bit. Uh, again, we are just on a little thing where we're just trying to hit up some different spots and go on some different adventures and go to some new and exciting places. And so Adirondacks are, you know, kind of home for us a little bit as well. Uh, so we decided that we would start to notch away at the 46 peaks in the Adirondacks here and become 46ers eventually. Uh, so we're hoping to do about three or four peaks here over these next couple days. And we'll see, uh, yeah, we'll see what we got there for you. But we're here to enjoy ourselves, we're here to relax. We're not backpacking, we're not hauling any equipment. So we just have our tent set up. I have my truck here in the background. Plenty of beer, plenty of food. We're gonna grill, we're gonna have a good fire tonight. Now Fernando has his cathedral of a tent, his three person tent. Uh, this is old Sears brand, Coleman style tent, whatever it is. I got my Nemo one person, because I don't really have a car camping tent. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? If it's going to be a nice night tonight, I'm probably going to stay just in the back of my truck anyway. You know, just sleep right there out in the open. If it's going to be really beautiful, why not? Uh, but yeah, we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to play a little bit of music, uh, drink a few beers, have a little bit of food, kick up a nice fire later tonight, and tomorrow we're going to... Bag some peaks. Bag some peaks. Bag some peaks. Head to the Adirondacks. It's absolutely beautiful up here. Beautiful day thus far. We're really looking forward to this trip. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'll see you guys further on the way. Maybe not talk to you later on tonight, but I'll involve you a little bit what's going on. See you guys further on the way. You, uh, tell us about your little uh, setup that you have going on over here. Sorry. Um, <laughs> just something I built as a kid that uh, just comp compartmentalizes everything so I can have my car camping set up with my stove, everything I need pots, pans, knives, cutting board, supplies, food, garbage bags 
out spray everything on the other side. And it's just a nice, easy way to organize everything, and you can close it up at night, and it keeps animals out. So this whole thing just latches up at night and locks together? Yep. All right, so what do we have over on this side of the table? This side of the table, you have a compartment that my stove fits into perfectly. Um, you have all your pots, um, utensils, there's paper plates, paper bowls, um, just like a few other odds and ends, a first aid kit. Um, now is this where it latches up at the top here? Yep. It latches up at the top, and can, if you want, you can even padlock it. I've never actually padlocked it, but at least it turns, so whatever would try to be opening it would need to turn the latch. And the feet just kind of slide right into these slots right there, angular slots, and then the whole thing just kind of bounces itself. Yep. Yeah. Really convenient. When did you build this thing? Uh, I built it in, like, the late 90s with my dad, and like, for a Boy Scout trip. See this guy's ingenuity right here. So he's gonna go ahead and make us some uh, bean dip right now since we do have some Fritos with us as Hiker Trash does of course, because Fritos were of course a favorite food amongst us hikers on the trail. Absolutely. But this thing's really cool. Handles on the side so you can lift it and haul it. Different shelves and different compartments inside there. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. The fact that it was uh, hand built years and years ago, it's still stood the test of time and uh yeah possibly do a, maybe a rebuild and update on it update the materials a little bit go with something uh a little bit slightly uh different maybe a little bit more bear proof as well but otherwise the design is uh really yeah this thing is awesome so it has like a is it split down the middle uh, like long ways it's not exactly a, the or middle it i'd just, say it's about three quarters most of the room is on this side and then you have about a quarter of it deep on the other side okay yeah, this thing's pretty cool awesome for all your camping needs <laughs> devices.com <laughs> devices.com <laughs> how we doing everybody your old pal bob we share so it is uh, a little after seven o'clock seven fifteen, roughly and uh yeah we're uh getting ready to have dinner here we have our nice uh nice tent set up you know all uh all ready to go for this uh beautiful evening that we're about to have and uh, yeah, so we are uh, getting ready to cook. We got some burgers tonight, or uh, cheeseburgers, I should say. The, all the condiments and everything included. Uh, all the fixings. All the fixings. Fernando made a really, really nice bean dip earlier today that we uh, had Fritos with. <laughs> Delish. Yeah. Like a trash lunch. Yeah, exactly. It's part of a healthy. <laughs> healthy lifestyle and a healthy appetite <laughs> keep your bones growing strong i mean it's got cheese in it <laughs> beans have a lot of protein now both of them combined spiders. yeah lots of barking spiders here tonight <laughs> if you don't know what barking spiders are just talk to your through hiker but uh yeah so we're uh, we're cooking away it already starts it's already starting to smell kind of good it's either our food or somebody else's food who's camping here tonight as well <laughs> but uh yeah it's gonna be a really nice night uh we're looking forward to hopefully getting up nice and early tomorrow and uh hitting three solid peaks doing a little peak bagging here in the adirondacks and uh starting to notch away on the list a little bit there ah really nice so we're gonna get the fire going here shortly uh when the burgers are starting to cook a little bit uh so that we can sit down around the campfire and have a couple burgers have our dinner have a nice night, have a couple beers, which we've already put back a few. We're recycling, don't worry, leave no trace. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, we're gonna cook on up, get a fire going.
How we doing, everybody? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we are out here at the Adirondacks. We're uh, doing a nice little, nice little loop here at the Adirondack Lodge, L O J. I don't know if you pronounce it Lodge or Loge. Loge. Yeah, it's still up for debate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're doing a nice twelve and a half mile loop or so here today. We're gonna do three nice peaks. Check those off the list. Uh, and it is an absolute beautiful day out here as well. Uh, you know, mid seventies. Yeah, beaut. Mid seventies, <laughs> sunny. Be a beautiful day. Crowded day a little bit. Lots of people on the trail. Uh, but it's okay. We brought we brought some beers out with us, which is always nice. Had to drink one early. Yeah, I had to drink one early. Unfortunately, one decided to uh, crack itself open inside Fernando's backpack. So we we're just like, eh, what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> It's already open. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to hit a uh, nice three peaks here today. Get on back into camp. Last night we had some burgers to eat, as you saw. Those were delicious. We had two of them each, which is really nice. Tonight we're going to eat like kings. If you thought we ate well last night, tonight we're going to eat even better. We got uh, filet each. Yeah, that's right. Philip McNoni. <laughs> we have uh, two fl uh, a filet each and two baked potatoes each as well. All the fixins. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna eat like kings this trip. We had a really good breakfast with uh, two bowls of uh, honey nut Cheerios and a uh, nice hot cup of coffee with that as well. Been a really nice trip thus far. A really nice day. Slept like a rock on my new sleeping pad. The seat of some ether light. Hooey! But yeah, we're gonna get on up here today. We have some really nice peaks, really nice views here to show you. I'll see you guys further up the trail. Bobby Ganoush show. Oh. Algonquin Trail right now. Nice little stream passing along the side there. Stop to uh, grab a snack, some refreshments. And now we're heading on up. We have a nice 23, 2400 foot uh, ascent in like 2.3 miles. So this one's gonna be a doozy. But, uh, <laughs> but we're looking forward to getting on up there. Get some beautiful views. Man, it's been a beautiful day. Beautiful scenery. It's good stuff. Just lowing. So, we'll see you on up there when we get some spectacular views, get some good pictures, some good videos. I'll see you guys later.
Alright, well here we are everybody. There's Fernando picking blueberries in the back. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, Iroquois Mountain. This is our first, uh, back on our first peak in the Adirondack Mountains. Woo! -wee! That's what I'm talking about. We have a whole lot more to go. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing three peaks here today. This is Iroquois number one. It's about 0.6 off of the uh, main loop trail there. And it's a pretty tough 0.6. There's at least two false summits. Uh, so especially when you climb up the mountain there, um, you come across the intersection to get over to the main peak. I can't remember the name of it. It's like white something, whatever. Um, and then you look out over over this way and you think you're looking right at the peak, Iroquois Mountain. That is just the first peak that you have to get up and over, a second one, and then finally get up to Iroquois. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but it's great being up here. It's been a, been a pretty tough day, especially that big climb that we had back there. So legs are still kind of recovering a little bit from that climb, but we're doing pretty good. First time being above uh, 4,500 feet since we uh, got out of the whites there. Yeah, it's been quite some time, quite some time since we climbed mountains like this. Feels good. I'm also tired. So yeah, we're gonna grab a quick snack here. Just beautiful, beautiful views all the way around. I'll take you guys out when we hit the other peaks to make sure you guys get plenty of views. Man, what a beautiful day. It's good to be out here. Good to get uh, explore some new places, see some new things, be this far up north near the uh, Canadian border. A lot of people hiking around here speaking French. That's how you know you're really near Canada. So, it's been beautiful. I'll see you guys later. Well, how are we doing, everybody? We got summit beers. Oh! So what mountain are we on top of? Algonquin. What he said. Uh, and we're standing at 5,100 and change elevation right now. Whew! Good climb up here, that's for sure. Good, uh, good feeling being back over 5,000 feet of elevation again. We are up here. We have 360 degree views all the way around. Mount Marcy is off in the background right over there. Tallest peak in the Adirondacks here. But beautiful, beautiful day. It's just about 5 o'clock right now. We have about five miles left to go till camp, but it's kind of trimming downhill a little bit, so we should get back into, uh, not back into camp, but back to the parking lot anyway. 7.30 or so, 7.30 roughly, and then it's about a 10, 15 minute drive back to camp tonight. We got steaks, we got baked potatoes to eat, we're going to eat like kings, we're going to drink, well, PBR. <laughs> There's some main beer company left too. There's a good beer. I'm mean, yeah, sure there's yeah. good celebration beer. We have uh we actually have some pretty pretty darn good uh pretty dosh darn good beer back at camp tonight. But uh we had to bring the PBRs hiking with us today because hike trash fast and the PBR had to be done. So we're gonna hang out here, grab a snack, finish our beers, and then get out and on the way. I'll uh talk to you guys further on down the trail. It has been a beautiful day. Peak number two, one more left to go here. Start to notch them away. I'll see you guys later. How are we doing, everybody? Your old pal, Bob Aganosh here. Fernando. Hello. So, uh, yeah, it's Friday morning. It's uh, just after 1030 here. And uh, it's time for us to go home. Got the truck all loaded up. We're going to drop our garbage off at the dumpsters. Tents and everything are packed up. Leave no trace. There's nothing left behind here. Last night, we had uh, some pretty intense thunderstorms roll through. Uh, range for solid like four to five hours, I'd say. Yep. Probably, probably longer, maybe. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, pretty inten intense thunderstorms. Uh, we were sitting around the fire. Fernando looked all of a sudden at the uh, at the uh, the radar, and he was like, oh, we, uh, we want to clean up here. So we packed up things pretty quickly, sat down, and in five minutes, sure enough, started raining. Uh, so needs to say, we both slept great because of the rain. Yeah. My tent's from the 90s. I slept mediocre. When I was sleeping, I slept well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Tens from the 90s, you got a little bit of water inside there, but no worse for the wear. I, I guess... I yeah. made it work. Yeah, it wasn't floating around or anything, so we were good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so packing up, ready to go. We got a four and a half hour drive. We're going to stop for breakfast on the way out, so it's going to take a little longer to get home because of that, but that's okay because it's going to be delicious. So thank you guys again for another fantastic trip being able to uh, cover two peaks in the Adirondacks. We were hoping to do three, but we got two because it was getting too late in the day. 
and we were tired. Uh, so we decided to skip the third peak uh, and move along so we can, uh, you know, try to get in before dark kind of thing. And it was a good decision. We got in, had a couple beers, had some fillets, some steaks last night, some potatoes with it as well. It was delicious. Very delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Eight like kings this trip. But thank you guys again. I'll see you guys on the next trip, next gear review, next video. <coughs> Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that follow button. Thanks again for following along. See you guys in the next trip. Baba Ganoush out.